Coming up today, we check out all of Spain's four high-speed operators and put them head-to-head, -head, which is best. Hola, bienvenido, and welcome back to Spain. I've got an exciting video for you today where we'll be looking at and comparing the Spanish high-speed operators against one another. Spain now has the most competitive high-speed rail market in the world, with four operators vying for your custom. I'll be looking at a number of factors, both on and off the train, which include style, comfort, accessibility, cost and frequency, so you can make the best decision on which company is most suited for you to travel with. So let's get started! The Siemens Valaro Ave S103 is undoubtedly a beautiful, sleek train. It just looks fast, but with unassuming style and beautiful lines paired with a simple, effective livery. The Talgo S112 Avlo completely divides opinions. The garish purple paint and nose that looks like El Pato, a duck, makes this train unmissable. Whether or not this is a good thing, I'll let you be the judge. The Wego TGV Duplex is an iconic design, having been used now in France for nearly 30 years. While being very utilitarian, it still manages to look stylish and fast with its double-decker coaches and bold branding. The Erio Frecciarossa 1000 is just stunning. I think these are one of the best looking trains in all the world, with their beautiful Italian styling and striking red livery. For me, trains don't get much better than this. The Ave does not offer level boarding from platform to train, instead you must request use of a mobile ramp. Each train has two wheelchair spaces plus companion seats, and the accessible toilet is located just through this glass automatic sliding door. While the Avlo and the Ave of this same model is better, it's still not completely level with a small gap to be bridged. Again, there are two wheelchair spaces but no adjacent accompanying companion seats. However, the accessible toilet is located right next to this area. Again, we go do not have level boarding, instead you need a ramp to negotiate a couple of steps down from the platform. There is no wheelchair access to the upper deck and therefore the cafe, but the lower deck has two wheelchair spaces with companion seats and the accessible toilet is located in the adjacent vestibule with level access. Once again, a ramp is needed to board a wheelchair on Uryu. Four wheelchair spaces are available, or two wheeled spaces and two companion seats, with the accessible toilet located just beyond this automatic door. Between the four companies, there are around 40 daily return trips between Madrid and Barcelona, with various stopping patterns. Nineteen of these are AVE services. 
They also offer the fastest non-stop services in 2 hours 29 minutes and are the only operator to serve all 7 high speed stations on the line. The other three only serve the major stations Zaragoza and Tarragona and have less daily round trips. Erio have 14, Wigo have 5 and Avlo currently just have 2 but these are all planned to be expanded in the near future. Under the seat and back through coach on the overhead compartment, so all with you. Making sure to leave doors and aisles clear. Let's check out the route and all possible stops on the Madrid to Barcelona high speed line. We inform you that neither smoking nor the use of electronic cigarettes. If you want ad-free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews, then become a channel member from just £1.99 a month. Just click the link above now or in the description of every video or the join button below. Thank you! The premier offering on this Ave are these comfortable, reclining and well-shaped leather seats. They are in a 2 plus 1 configuration, have headrests and adjustable armrests. The cheaper seats are still really excellent. They are in a 2 plus 2 layout but are still really comfy, well-shaped and also recline a good amount but have less overall width. This area behind the driving cab used to be bookable as a conference area with extra services, however I believe now it's just a normal preferente area. Please comment below if you know any different. All seats on Avlo trains are in a single class, mainly airline style, but with two tables of four in the middle. These are all in a 2 plus 2 layout in this smart tanned leather design. Watch out for the ex-cafe coach though, coach 6 seen here as the windows are well above eye level when seated. I'm going to stick my neck out here and say the XL seats on Wego are the comfiest of the first class offerings. They're in a 2 plus 1 layout and have large padded headrests and armrests. The standard seats, much less so, but they're still okay. They're laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration. I'm also really not a fan of the blue-pink combo. What do you think? Infinita class on Erio is very stylish in true Italian fashion. The seats are in a 2 plus 1 layout, super comfy and very close in comfort to Uigo's XL seats. They are the same as the business class seats on the Italian Frecciarossa trains. Singular only U class, despite having a silly name, uses the same seats as Infinita but with a different colour scheme. Inicial is the best second class offering in Spain. These leather seats are in a 2 plus 2 layout and offer great support and style and also great value as you'll see later on. All of these services pretty much offer the same amenities. Aves have a large and sturdy tray table for working or eating from, an adjustable footrest, a small bin, two power sockets, reading lights and excellent window blinds. Avlo trains have the same amenities as the Ave, but just with slightly different designs.
The tables on Wego are the largest and sturdiest of the lot. I also prefer the power sockets situated here on the wall rather than in between the seats. There is no bin, but the seats do recline electronically. Again, the Frecciarossa offers all the amenities of the others, including the bin. The legroom is also noticeably the best of the lot. All Ave trains have a bistro and bar, but no sit-down dining area. However, you can stand up, chat and have a drink in the bar area. First class fares, which include food, are served to your seat and are of good quality and include alcohol for lunch and dinner. All passengers can purchase food and drinks, including snack boxes from the buffet, if not included in your fare. Avlo trains only have vending machines which sell drinks and small snacks. Payment is by card only. The Wee Bar sells drinks and light meals including alcohol which can be eaten in the bar area or taken back to your seat. Erio trains have the Heisia Bistro, which is like a small cafe serving drinks, including alcohol and real coffee, and light snacks similar to tapas. Infinita Bistro customers get a choice of meal on booking, including a vegetarian option which is delivered to your seat. It was absolutely delicious. The cost is a difficult category to explain fully, as all of these trains have airline-style, demand-based, dynamic pricing. The base fares, however, can be quantified, with in theory the cheapest Madrid to Barcelona fares being on Avlo, starting from just €7 Euros one way. Wego starts from €9, Euros, Erio from €16, Euros, and Ave from €19. Euros. But don't expect anywhere near these prices if booking last minute or for peak times, unfortunately. The premium seats start from the following prices. We go from 18 euros, Erio from 40 euros and Ave from 72 euros. Bear in mind that Erio and Ave include food and drinks, whereas we go do not. There are no premium seats on Avlo services, although some of the sets are yet to be converted from their Ave interiors, so the old Ave Preferente coaches can sometimes be selected on Avlo services for the bargain prices, however there is no way of knowing this. See my friend Simon's video where he lucked out and got one of these trains, it's linked above now. I've just done a search for trains departing tomorrow, and these are the cheapest seats available. Avlo, 49 euros, Wego, 49 euros, Erio, 46 euros, and Ave, 57 euros. The moral of the story is to book as early as you can. Avoid peak times, summer holidays, and go for early or late departures as these are always the cheapest. All this being said, this is still way better value than before when Renfe held the monopoly with their Ave services. You'd struggle to find a trip between Madrid and Barcelona for less than 100 euros even months in advance. So, in conclusion, this video wasn't meant to rank these operators from top to bottom, best or worst, but to give you all the information available to make the best choice for you. I hope this video has helped, and if you want to see more like it in the future, be sure to let me know. Have you been on any Spanish high-speed trains before? 
Which one was your favourite? Leave me a comment below. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so leave me a comment or a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new video every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.